Welcome back to Brewmature. Today we've got Yazoo Brewing's Pale Ale. All right, Mary, we have a style that's not necessarily your favorite, but it is the Pale Ale. This here is a new version of an American classic Yazoo Pale Ale burst with a spicy, citrusy hop aroma and flavor based on the newly discovered Amarillo hop. The wonderful hop aroma is balanced nicely with a toasty, malty body ending with a cleansing hop finish. So this is the very last of the beers that I have from the beer boxes that I uh, got as a Christmas gift this last year. Oh, really? Yeah, yes. Oh, wow. Uh, this does not have a bottling date on it, but I did receive it in a box in around, I think, end of February. So it's, we'll say it's about four months old. Um, it's been in my refrigerator. Um, hopefully it'll hold up fairly well. How are we supposed to know? If this is good to drink still, if there's no bottling date, guys, gotta harp on that. Gotta put the bottling date on, guys. <laughs> yeah, unless it's like a really dark ink or something. Uh, I don't see it on here. Um, I'm also not seeing the alcohol percentage on there. Maybe you can help me find that. Uh, I do like the artwork. Yeah, the artwork's really cool. Um, they had one other beer from them that was a porter, I believe, that was super good that I tried um, myself. But uh, yeah, pretty impressed with their first beer that I had from them. This one, I've had it a, a months ago, don't remember it too much, so I'm ready to I don't jog my memory a little bit. Much. Well, it's hard. I, I had it months and months and months ago, and I had one or two bottles of it only, so. It must have not been that good then. I guess we'll have to find out. Yeah, this is very rude of them. <laughs> it even says on here. That's why I yeah. looked again. Yeah, it says on there. That is so rude. Bottling date printed on label, on bottle above label. No, no, it's not. Yazoo Brewing, please. Nashville, Tennessee. Let's figure it out. Yeah, and there is no uh, alcohol, percentage. alcohol percentage on here. Which is really weird. I feel like that is a huge oversight. Like that's, this yeah. could be nothing. This, what if it's not even alcohol in here? What am I even doing this for? For the views. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but that's whatever. Or you're knocking it down one point for the no bottling date and no percentage. Gotta at least have the alcohol percentage on there. Know how much alcohol you're consuming. But uh, that's enough talking. Let's get to drinking. All right, here we go, Mary. A pale ale. This is not an IPA. This is just a pale ale. What's the difference? Uh, one's from India, and one's, uh, not. One's from Tennessee. Yeah, some people, times people call this like an APA or an American Pale Ale. Mm. But, uh, it's a style all to itself. Yeah, it smells like a lager. It, no, it, to me, I get a lot different smell than I would from a lager. It doesn't smell like a beer to me. It's a lot more malty, a lot more hoppy. Almost a little, a little sweetness to it too, like almost like a honey. It smells like an 805. Yeah, I'll have to, I forget, what is 805, just a lager or what is it again? We'll find out, they'll let us know in the comments below. This is just 805. I'm done with this. Dazu, <laughs> you let us down. It's all, it's uh, nice and malty. Um, oh, I look up a little bready. It's a, uh, it, honestly, it does really just taste like an 805. Okay. Solid little beer. Um, I haven't had an 805 in a minute, so I don't remember exactly what that tastes like. But if it is, unfortunately, I'm sure this is much more expensive than an 805. It's a blonde ale. Oh, so this is a different style completely. But it tastes pretty close. No alcohol percentage, it could be 2%. Could be 10%. It could not be 10%. <laughs> <laughs> if no I had way. to guess, I'd say probably like a 6.5% alcohol. I'm gonna say a 4.8. You could look it up on the Googles, I'm sure Untapped will have it. 5.8, what'd you say? 6.5. What did I say? Nothing. I said four point something. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. Um, Go back to the tapes. So 
Mm -hmm. Okay, so low ABV, uh, malty, tasty. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give this probably a 3.25. I'm gonna give it a five. two. Oh, wow. You really did hate it. 3.25, are you serious? This is not... I don't hate it. I would have given it a three if they had their alcohol percentage and a date on it. Yeah, not great. Got to work on that. Definitely important, especially for craft beer drinkers, I would say. This just tastes bread. Like bread. Liquid bread. Liquid bread. Well, most beer is liquid bread, right? Mm. All beer is. It's just, <laughs> it's not anything to write home about. It's not blowing my hair back. Not knocking my socks off. That does it for today's beer review. I hope you enjoyed it. Like, share, subscribe. Check us out on Instagram. And click the bell icon to be notified when we upload new videos. Until next time, we're the Brew Merchers trying every beer from around the world. One, One sip, sip at a time. Yeah. Until next time, we're the Brew Merchers trying every beer from around the world.